Hey guys, how's life? In this video, we'll be making a collapsing toolbar layout with a nested scroll view. Or if you like, you can use a recycler view, but I'm using the nested scroll view. We have a collapsing toolbar here and a floating action button. So if you swipe up the screen, this collapsing toolbar collapses. And if you keep on scrolling down, it stays in that position. And if you pull it down until it reaches the top of the scroll view, the collapses toolbar opens up. So that's what we are going to make in this video. So let's jump into Android Studio. Let's create a new application. We'll call it Collapsing Bar. API to be 21 and with an empty activity. Let's open the resource folder and go to the layout file, activity main.xml. And let's open the preview also. Here we have an action bar. Let's go to values folder and in the styles, let's change it to no action bar so that this default action bar is removed. Here we can see that the default action bar is removed. Let's remove this text view also. And uh, we'll add the design support library. To add the design support library, either you can copy and paste the library or what you can do, you can go to this button and just click on uh, floating action button and it will ask you to add the design support library. So click on OK and it automatically adds the design support library. You can see it in the build.gradle file. Here the design support library is added. So now what we'll do, we'll add in our assets. So let's go to the drawable folder and add in an image asset not the images rather the vector asset it's for the floating action button i'll tell you what i'm going to do with this asset in some time let's use send for now click on ok and click on next and finish this asset is added in our folder let's copy in one image also which i have downloaded from pixabay and it's a great website for finding royalty free images let's copy this image from here and paste it in the drawable folder like this. This is the image I'm going to use. Let's close this, close the styles also and the app.gradle file also and the main activity also because we are not going to do anything inside the main activity. Now let's do one more thing. Go to strings folder and add in some long string which again I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with this string later on in the video. Now let's get back to our activity main.xml and here what we'll do, we'll change the root layout to be a coordinator layout. Like this. And its first child will be app bar layout. Its width would be match parent and its height would be wrap content. Let's give it an ID also app bar layout and give it a theme theme would be at style theme overlay dot app compact dot dark dot action bar this would be all for app bar layout now inside in here we'll add in our collapsing toolbar layout and again, its width would be match parent and its height would be wrap content. Let's add in some scroll flags. First would be scroll and then snap and then exit until collapsed. I'll explain about these in a moment. And then we'll give it a content scrim. and it would be color primary. And let's give it a title also. Title would be your app name or whatever you like. Let's uh, use the app name. And inside the collapsing toolbar layout, one thing you should know that the toolbar should be the last child of this tool collapsing toolbar layout. So let's add in our uh, toolbar. That is the support widget. And its uh, width would be match parent and its height would be at attribute action bar size 
like this. Let's close it here itself and give it a pop-up theme of theme overlay dot app compact dot dark and here you can add in an image view whose width would be match parent and whose height would be let's say 250 dp like this and add in a source source would be from drawable folder add drawable background which we have just created and let's uh, change the scale type to be center crop like this now if we run our application right now let's see what we have now you can see if we scroll the collapsing toolbar it collapses and again it opens so now let's do one more thing we will add a floating action button right here so outside the app bar layout what we'll do we'll add a floating action button width would be match uh, would be wrap content and height would be also be wrap content and add in a source type source would be again drawable which we have just added or sent black like this give it a tint color of white at android color white let's anchor this to our app bar layout layout anchor would be from id at id app bar layout and let's position it at the bottom right side layout anchor gravity would be at bottom to the right and you should also use end to support previous versions let's give it a margin of layout margin end would be say 32 dp if you again run this application let's see what we have we have a floating action button which hides itself when we collapse the bar now let's add in a nested scroll view like this you can also use a recycle recycler view i'm using the nested scroll view with a width would be match parent and height would be match parent and let's add in a text view inside this nested scroll view width would be again match parent and height would be say wrap content and its text would be the text string which we have created initially let's give it a text size text size is say 20 sp and line spacing should be 8 sp and let's give it a padding of say 16 dp so if you see this text view rather this nested scroll view is covering this collapsing bar so what we'll do we'll add in layout behavior like this and it's inside a string app bar scroll scrolling view behavior and now if we run our app one thing i want to tell you guys that i am using nested scroll view if you are using recycler view then you have to add this line of code that is the layout behavior to your recy recycler view now let's run our application again now if you scroll up we have a collapsing bar and if you scroll down it will open the bar like this so that's all about the collapsing bar you can play with these around you can use enter always what enter always does is this let me show you now if you scroll upside this whole bar would be gone and because this is enter always whenever you will scroll down this bar comes immediately not when the scroll views position is at the top if we'll use enter always collapsed what it will do is that when you are at the top of your scroll view then only it will start expanding the collapsing bar so i am at the bottom side so now i am scrolling down this bar doesn't comes because it has a property of enter always collapse so until i reaches the top of this scroll view that is here from where this text starts now when you uh, pull it down we have our collapsing bar opening like this so it depends on application to application what type of behavior you want 
and for a general purpose you can always use exit until collapsed like this so it will give you a default behavior like this whenever you scroll up it scrolls up and whenever you scroll down it will expand the collapsing bar so guys this is all about the collapsing bar and if you like the video hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed till now do subscribe and press the bell icon so thank you bye bye tata take care and have a good day